Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. At the grocery store, about to, uh, you know, grab some supplies and shit. But um, I saw a video by uh, Box Nego, man. Shout out to Box Nego, man. And he put out this video. I had to respond to this shit because, okay, apparently, and I don't think it's no truth to it. You know, apparently Carl Frotch has been working out and he's all ripped up and shit. You know, look like he more getting in shape for a movie versus, like, fighting. But anyway, Carl Frotch is in great shape. You know, he seems to be, you know, taking care of himself since he retired. Because, you know, some of these guys, when they retire, they just, you know, the first thing they run to is they local buffet in whatever city they live in and shit. And they just, you know, start eating their way out of shape and shit. But Carl Frotch seems to have been taking care of himself since he retired in 2014. Now, all of a sudden, there's a picture floating around with with Eddie Hearn and Tom Loeffler. Like, they're negotiating a possible fight between Triple G and Carl Frotch at Wembley Stadium. Okay. Uh, first of all, this would, once again, further solidify Triple G as a fucking coward and a fucking fraud. You know, his fans are so stupid to where they don't want to believe it. And then these are the same idiots that try to talk shit about Floyd and other other black fighters. So let me get this straight. You would be willing to fight Carl Frotch. And then Carl Frotch has said on record that he cannot make 168. So what weight would y'all fight at? Oh, so you would fight at 170? Is that what you're saying? But wait a minute. You said you didn't want to fight Andre Ward because of inactivity. So wait a minute. You would fight Carl Carl Frotch? A guy who hasn't fought since May of 2014. So what happened to the inactivity shit? Oh, so you would go up and wait to fight Carl Frotch. But you don't want to go up to 168 and fight James Gale. So you basically would skip past a live and live and active fighter versus a fucking reti- retired fighter. Okay. <laughs> See what I mean? This is the shit that I'm talking about. You know, uh, <laughs> are you fucking serious? But I don't think it's no, I, I, I don't think it's no truth to this. Because this would, fr- like I said, this would. <laughs> Like I said, this would further prove what everybody been saying about the tomato can killer. This once again would be hypocrisy at its finest with Triple G. And then they I would love to see how they would try to get around this. But you know Abel Sanchez, he'll have his lies on deck. Keep in mind, Carl Frosch tried to fight Triple G. He said last year he would come out of retirement to fight Triple G at 170. So like I said, so now Triple G's willing to go up to 170? Okay. So if you was willing to go up to 170 for Carl Fry, why can't you just go up the extra few pounds and fight Andre Ward? Yeah, that's what I thought. This would, hey, all I can say, this would further prove without a shadow of a doubt, which has already been proven that Triple G ducked Andre Ward and he ducked and he's ducking James DeGale. You want to fight a dude, or possibly trying to negotiate to fight a dude who has a fault in two and a half years. Basically, probably by the time the fight actually happened, it would be three years. Man, I'm man, I'm man, I'm out, man. I'm out, man. This dude is man, man, I'm gone, man. <laughs>